Stephen, have you been talking to other women? Other women? Uh... Have you been talking to other women? Nine girls women? were sending me inappropriate messages and images of, like, you know, their boobs. Scootily Foolishly started sending pictures of myself and things like that. This guy is the worst. I don't know how it's possible, but he keeps getting worse every time he's on the show. In the last video, I said I would rather go on a date with Big Ed than spend 30 seconds with Angela. I'm not gonna lie, I think Steven is more unlikable than both of them. All right, now what was that? I don't know about you, but I would not trust Steven gleefully bounding over a dog. He could have easily just walked around, but everything he does has to be quirky in some way. Eileen and I had gotten in a fight recently and I was really frustrated. And like last week, probably about nine girls were sending me inappropriate messages. Why does he look so excited to be saying all of this? Yeah, that's right, nine of them. I mean, uh, I definitely love my wife and all that shit, but at the same time, I'm kind of a celebrity now. I licked a wine glass on a reality TV show. I mean, everyone wants me. What and kinds of pictures were you sending them, Stephen? Just a selfie of my face. I was fully clothed, and I have, I was just sticking my tongue out. And I have kind of a long tongue. Why is he so obsessed with his own tongue? I honestly wonder if Steven is just going to try to convince Alina to have an open relationship because even though she is visibly upset at some points, she tolerates Steven's behavior a lot. She keeps saying she believes he's going to change, but then he's over here giggling and laughing about scootily pooping with other women. And yes, it's a Steven video, so you're gonna hear that a lot. I even saw some people that were like, oh, I didn't mind how many times you used it. I thought it was still funny. Pff, just wait. And I was saying like, wow, I have a really long tongue. It's too bad I don't know how to use it. This guy is too much. It's too bad I don't know how to use it, but luckily I carry this wine glass with me. But don't drink the wine. Remember that, because I take my religion very seriously. Alina, did you know that? Yeah, because those girls, they they sent me all the screenshots and I've seen everything. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely possible that Steven has exaggerated a lot of this and just convinced Alina to go along with it to stir up drama for the show. But even if that is the case, they're still actually married, so that doesn't really make him look any better. Also, why did Alina just have him delete his Facebook but not his Instagram? You know, at this point, just throw his phone away. I, like, I don't agree with it, but you've already gone through the spying phase, so now it's time to go through the throwing phone out phase banks. Armando and I FaceTimed with them before the show started. I said, you're gonna get girls. I, I even got boobs sent to me. I even got boobs. It's my fault for answering, boobs. for encouraging that behavior. But also I feel like- Whoa, hold on right there. Whatever he says after this really doesn't matter at all. But what do you think his excuse is going to be? I even got boobs. And Kenny, man, you can't say something like this and expect me not to play it five or six thousand times. But also I feel like I have a lot of sexual energy. So like there is a lot of repression going on within myself. Yeah, I can tell. This looks like a guy with a lot of sexual energy. But seriously though, what type of response was he expecting? Oh, you never said you had a lot of energy. That changes everything. Why didn't Why didn't you say that sooner? Well, you see, I have so much energy that it must have slipped my mind. Damn, he's good. Wow. What was I? What were we even talking about? It, it would be easier if we were able to find a way where I wouldn't have to repress these urges and these feelings as much. All right, so it sounds like he is definitely hinting at an open marriage. Having multiple wives is definitely something that is permitted in Mormonism. But Stephen, if you wanted to do that, then that's something you need to be kind of upfront about from the beginning. What urges are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. For some reason, I really want to have a threesome. What is with this show? Seriously. First Colty, then Big Ed, now Steven. What is with these guys that makes them think they're entitled to do whatever they want when they're in a relationship with someone way out of their league? Kenny is right though. You're going to get people that send you inappropriate things if you're on a reality TV show and you're well known to the public and on social media. You're just gonna have to ignore that. Or you could whine about your urges. I don't know. That's more entertaining for us. So just go ahead. Um, oh God. My God, this is going way too much too. Okay, Steven. Okay. Wow. Okay, and that's something that I don't know. It's just like a, I had told Alina about this nearly since the beginning. That it's something that I wanted to try. All right, so apparently he did bring this up right at the very beginning. Uh, why the hell is Alina with this guy? I don't understand at all. There's no way some 90 day fame is worth being married to this guy. It's like if Big Ed taught his ways to some little Mormon dude. So in this next part here, one of Steven's ex girlfriends comes out. When you first met Steven, what attracted you to him initially? I was going through a bit of a faith crisis. 
I, I grew up LDS as well. So let me guess, Stephen took advantage of someone who was going through a faith crisis. And how long did you two date? Only like three or four months. Okay, why did you two break up? Well, Stephen was fronting as, you know, a faithful man who wanted to be in a monogamous relationship. When you look up the word smug in the dictionary, it should just be a picture of Stephen, seriously. He always looks so satisfied, even when people are saying really negative things about him. He was gonna go to Russia for two months. I just told him he can date other girls, but please don't go all the way. What do you think Steven did? Just take, take a wild guess. He comes back from Russia and I was his girlfriend, but he confessed to me that while he was in Russia, he had had sex with three girls. Yeah, that's right. Y'all hear that? Three. Count it. Sorry to hear about your faith crisis, babe, but I got an urge crisis and the only cure is more cowbell. The things that I'm hearing, how he has nine girls he's been spo he's spoken to that he wants to have a threesome. Why is he trying to convince her to do this? Oh, I've never been so irritated at somebody else smiling before. He's the type of person where not only are you not gonna get through to him, but he's gonna thrive off of you accusing him of doing something wrong. But I don't think he's going to change. If anything, I would say he's gotten worse. Even he is like, yeah, probably. So Alina basically says that she's gonna stand by Steven and she thinks that he's going to change. And Ari, who is part of another couple, calls out Steven and uh, when he goes to defend himself, he gets shut down so quickly. It's pretty hilarious. He hurt both of you. I don't think he's gonna change. I think that Vanessa's right. Steven, you're not a freak or anything, but it's not fair to, you know, have one foot in the door and one foot out the door. That's kind of funny coming from someone who just abandoned their husband. Ah, oh, that is the worst when people do that. He gets criticized, so then he just turns it around on the other person and tries to think of the quickest possible insult you can say to them. That's kind of funny coming from someone who just abandoned their husband. I didn't abandon my husband. I went to get my son's surgery in the U.S. I love how he's just silent after that. Like, oh shit, I, did, I didn't know that. I'm fully invested in No, you're Alina. not. You're talking to nine different women. You're not invested in anything. Um... Um, can you please just stop making me look bad by telling the truth, please? I am invested in this marriage. I'm also just invested in the idea of having an open marriage. It was a fleeting moment of weakness. A uh, because... nine fleeting moments of weakness? Great, so you understand then. See, I'm the victim in all this. Do you not realize how difficult it is to have so many fleeting moments of weakness? All right, so this video is gonna be a little bit shorter, but before I end it, I wanted to talk about one more thing, which is the Reddit AMA that Steven's ex-girlfriend did. According to her, Steven said at one point, I'm so happy you were with me when I was poor. That way I know you're not a gold digger. She also said that while they were still dating, she found out he was talking to the girls that he hooked up with when he was in Russia. And as usual, he fell back on the excuse that they were just his friends and he refused to stop talking to them. She said Steven took her on a hike to cheer her up, and at one point during the hike, she started crying. Instead of comforting her in any way, Steven did a photo shoot next to her with her phone. I find this psychologically fascinating. This is the moment that she finally decided to break up with Steven. She writes, This is when I break up with him. I had a sudden moment of clarity that I will never forget. I was at an arcade with Steven. He sees some random people, excitedly points at them, and says, We saw those people earlier! I felt some sort of cosmic shift inside of me, and I thought, What am I doing with this child? I was suddenly disgusted with him, and there was no going back from this realization. This is funny because I can absolutely picture this happening, just Steven getting all giddy and excited over something that stupid. The last video I made about Steven, I think I titled, Is Steven a Lying Cheater or Just a Goofball? And I think the answer is both. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely have something else soon because this was shorter than usual. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. I even got boobs.